ओके थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग हेयर अ टॉपिक विच इज अ वेरी कॉमन वन फ्रॉम द टेस्टिंग परस्पेक्टिव बट वी वॉन्टेड इट टू बी टेकन केयर and that's why we introduced ai into it so the topic is ai assisted manual test review process and automation code review so why we chosen that topic and what problem we are going to solve what additional things we have implemented we are going to discuss but before that a quick introduction to my team myself pankaj kumar mishra i am a test automation architect in ericsson and my hobbies are cycling and badminton and uh, we have amit who is a test automation engineer in ericsson and his hobby is uh, gardening and then we have sonam uh, she is a manual engineer and she, her hobby is volleyball and then we have lavanya she is an uh, automation engineer and test engineer and his hobby is cooking and reading so now uh, coming to our use case and uh, like why we have chosen this topic so we were going through in our project like uh, we were analyzing lots of defects and uh, everything which is coming as a production defects or the internal defects and what we found is that uh, if you see on the right hand side uh, where defect log is 500 we found that positive flow was accounted for around around 74% of the defects and the negative flow was accounted for 25% of the defects and 1% of the defect was associated with the boundary values and this was our analysis from the rca of the production defects and the internal defects but somehow we do not had any mechanism where we were tracking the test coverage in such a way that it's going to tell us that whether the test cases which are with us are having how much percentage of positive flow how much percentage of negative flow how much percentage of the boundary value flow so we do not have a mechanism to enforce like this kind of standards that we should have a 75% test case for positive 24% to negative or 1 to 2% to the boundary value another thing we observed that one reviewer was approximately getting 250 to 300 test cases to review if you see on the slide on the left hand side so you would be able to see that reviewer was getting 250 plus test cases to review now what is the problem in that the first problem is that every reviewer has a different style of reviewing the test case maybe he can follow the standard test review process or maybe he sometimes skips as well it's all depends on his experience so there was a fair chances that during the manual test review process because of overwhelming number of test cases the functional coverage the test coverage and the readability issues can come and that will introduce defects in later into the cycle similarly in the automation as well what we found is that automation code review process is still very much manual so we do the coding we send it for the review and it all entirely depends on the reviewer who is reviewing the code so we wanted to have a mechanism in a place and we felt the need for this that there should be something if we can done through the ai to solve this problem now once we found that okay these are two areas manual and automation which we can explore we interacted with different teams across our projects and solutions and here are the few pointers which we collected from the manual test point of view so what are those pointers the first pointer first feedback we received was there are too many test cases to review we noted it down then the other feedback was are we following in the any standard template for test review process we noted that down the third feedback we received was there are cases when the mandatory data is missing and they found this during the execution of the test cases for example input section is missing in some cases for example setup section is missing in some cases so during the execution time this when the we have less time this becomes a bottleneck another feedback we received is that sometimes it happens if we have 20 test case 10 test cases are having all the steps but 10 test cases are having less steps or it has just been covered up 
so this kind of problem was also delaying the test execution later in the cycle the most important concern we received was is our functional coverage complete that means whatever test cases we have designed as per the acceptance criteria are they actually covering the acceptance criteria so this was one major feedback or concern we received from the test team another concern was the test coverage so when we are saying the test coverage that means are there any logical distribution of the test coverage into the positive negative or boundary value or is it like the test cases are one sided only covering all the positive flows or covering all the negative flow or covering only the boundary value so we have this input as well and the other most important and most neglected part was test readability so this is the something which we never pay much attention and the problem occurs when automation team picks the test cases for automation or someone new picks the test case for the execution and they are not able to understand anything of it or relate it and it's a difficult time for them and hence this will increase the execution time so we collected all these problems and we decided to solve it so this is how we are going to solve it so if you see this uh, high level solution approach which we are presenting here so we are taking two inputs one is acceptance criteria other is manual test cases both are going through eda that is exploratory data analysis and then both are going through the stop word removal the data cleaning part lemmatization part of speech and all those things then what we are doing after going through the data cleaning we are using tfidf count vectorizer or tfidf vectorizer to extract the top keywords from the test steps and the acceptance criteria once we have the top keywords from the test steps we are matching each of the test steps or each of the expected result with each of the acceptance criteria if the acceptance criteria match then it is fine if the acceptance criteria is not matching anywhere we are creating a functional coverage report which you see after this node drop down this is the functional coverage report now on the same time on the manual test cases what we are doing is uh, we are giving them to the trained supervised model now once they are going to the trained supervised model which was trained on the existing data covering positive negative and boundary value we are going to predict that how much percent is positive flow you are covering how much percent of the negative flow you are covering and how much percent of boundary value you are covering and that we are going to present into the into the test coverage report parallelly the same test cases went through the standard test review template and the rules which we have implemented in the solution so it will ensure your test cases are as per the basic standards of the software testing and it will also check your readability and generate a report now once all these three reports are generated it gets combined and generate a manual test review report so how it looks like so you only have to give acceptance criteria and test cases and this report will be generated so if you see first we are providing a basic health check so in the basic health check we are presenting the mandatory column data if some columns are missing having missing data so you can see actual result is having a missing data in the positive negative is having a missing data so in this way you are able to find that okay my which column is having the missing data and you can inform the team second important check basic health check is test density check so if some key test cases are having less step fewer step or no step this we have this will be highlighted if you see these three blocks are highlighted in the red then the test cases numbers will be highlighted like this this is the part of our basic health check now the most important that is the functional coverage part because we have received this comment from many teams that functional coverage is this tool going to check the functional coverage on the left hand side if you see these are the acceptance criteria which are not part of the test cases so if you see this yellow one notification csv file scenario completed outgoing so that means this particular acceptance criteria was never captured in the test cases or any of the acceptance criteria which is listed here like for example completed outgoing request notification this is also not captured so by this way we would be able to identify if we are missing any acceptance criteria on the similar line if some 
important keywords are being written suppose in the business logic for example transaction id for example your api error codes for example your important api error on the second part you will get the missing important key term technical report so here you will identify okay my these error codes are missed or my these important keywords are missed from the test cases now one of the most important test case readability report if you see here there are three pie charts the first pie chart is telling that none of the test name is readable second pie chart is telling only 11 of the 26 uh, 11 of the 37 test cases have the proper test steps 26 are not readable and then we have eight of the expected result which is not readable if you see the screenshot below it provides a flash score so how we are identifying is this we are using advanced nlp techniques where we are using flash score smog index and though they are comparing the data test steps with the readability logic they have and if it is not humanly readable and if it is not uh, much readable they provide a score out of it if it is readable they provide a good score if it is less readable they are providing a less score so by this way you are going to surely improve the test cases readability point of view and this helps so you will see flash score against each of the test cases so if you improve it your flash score also going to improve now one of the most important is the test coverage report so if you see here i was talking at the initial level so once you feed the test cases once you give the test cases to to this ai assisted manual test review process it generates this data based on its supervised learning model so it predicts that your test case or the test cases which you have written covers the positive flow 71 percent negative flow 28 percent and boundary value one percent so by this way you can ask the question to the team members who have written the test cases that why this coverage is more focused towards uh, positive or negative or boundary value so by this way we are able to ensure that a balanced test coverage is part of this <coughs> okay so what is the benefits we are reaping out of it first and most important is improving test case readability second thing is that we are ensuring that our functional coverage has now increased so because we are actually comparing each of the acceptance criteria then we are ensuring that our test coverage is more logical and balanced our mandatory columns are not missing out for later impact and the most benefit it is having is that during the execution time during the automation designing time automation scripting time we are saving lots of our time and the most important it helps in designing better quality of test cases which includes the functional coverage test coverage test readability and the standard review process template across the industry standards now here i rest the case for manual test review process uh, amit will be taking care of the automation test review code review process through this ai tool over to you amit Are you able to hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, first of all, thanks Pankaj for the detailed uh, manual review process. So I will be uh, explaining. So I will be explaining the uh, automation review process. So first we will be talk about the challenges, what we, what challenges do we have? And then we will be seeing how we are rectifying those uh, challenges. So the first challenge is, is my automation coverage being in line with the manual test coverage or not? Like whatever the uh, manual test steps are written or the expected result is written in the manual test cases. Is that uh, in line with the automation, uh, like whatever the automation is done? Uh, is all the all the things are there in the automation or not the second point is test suits are are readable or not so that we will be checking it should be readable so that our maintenance work can be reduced <clears throat> is there any way we can fix some of the coding issues automatically suppose uh, if we have like coding issues uh, or the some code is not like proper can we fix those things or not and the fourth one is 
is the code run against static code analysis tool before sending it for the review like uh, before sending it for the review or like suppose before i uh, like uh, the user creates the uh, pull request so he can uh, he needs to check whether the uh, it is uh, it's his code is meeting the coding standards or not so these uh, are the few challenges so <clears throat> So this is the high level approach and the block diagram. So this is like, this is in three, this is a three step process actually. So what is the first step? First step is to like, suppose the automation tester has developed its scripts. Now what he has to do, he has to like by this tool, he will be uh, like uploading his all the uh, like uh, files, which has like test cases, uh, the resource file and the keywords files, and it will automatically get passed through the Robocop. Robocop is a open source library written in Python. So once Robocop will run, it will generate the uh, generate a CSV out of it, and it will be having a, a structured data, and and we will be and we will be passing. Uh, that uh, CSV to our trained supervised model, which will classify all the uh, errors which uh, which are there in the uh, in the code, and it will classify those errors into uh, three categories like uh, the quick fix, complex fix, and the custom fix. And if the user if the user selects like if a user wants to uh, like correct those errors automatically, then he, once he will click on yes, like the yes, then uh, the custom robot ID commands will be executed internally. And this is all robot ID is also an open source library, which is also written in Python. So this will correct few of the errors which are there in the uh, code. Once this is done, the, the user can start the execution and it like uh, it can run, uh, the user can run uh, the automation suit then the final output of the automation suit which is nothing but the logs the output.xml file it will get automatically uh, sent like it will get passed and from like we will be parsing that uh, output.xml file and we will be generating the uh, csv out of it once csv is getting generated we will extract all the apis which are being used in a uh, in a uh, in a test case or in the entire suits. So we will be extracting those APIs parallelly. What we are doing, we are, because uh, the man, the reference for the automation is the manual test cases. So, so the, uh, so we are also uh, passing this manual test case file and we are doing the EDA exploratory data analysis and we are doing some uh, NLP, uh, we are using NLP techniques like uh, stop words, limitization and stemming things we are doing. And we are extracting what all APIs are being written in the step section so that we can compare what all APIs are being triggered from the automation suit and what all APIs are being, uh, like uh, APIs are uh, written in the manual test cases. And once we have the data, then we are comparing both the data so that we can find out the difference like in order to find the coverage so if there is any there is an any difference then we we will be generating those prediction reports also we are also checking the readability of our uh, test cases right so we are like checking whether the test case is readable or not in order to like uh, so that like other team member and other other automation tester and uh, like if we are like sending our reports to the stakeholders they can also like go through the reports and they can also read what steps we are doing in our test cases so we are combining both these reports and we are generating the final automation report so the final automation report why i'm not able to sorry yeah so so this is the uh the automation report which we have like in the, in the first section you can see we have classified all the uh, the kind of errors which were there in the code uh, we have categorized them into three categories like quick fix complex fix and the custom fix 
and in the second uh, uh, screenshot you can see like if the if the user wants to fix those those errors then this will be this this is the result since this is the complex fix so there are minimal like you can see the error reduction was less but in custom fix and in the quick fixes you can see the error reduction is is huge so this is the uh, other slide advanced health checks so what we are doing we are also checking how much readable our suit is test suit is so you can see this is the average uh, like readability score of all the suits which we have like suit one is has having less than 40 and suit two is having like uh, uh, around 50 percent of readability score we have like this much of like uh, uh, like readable our suits are so on the right hand side you can see this is the readability score of all the test cases so on the like in this you know, screenshot you can see the easy to read this is easy to read and its flash score is also high and the test case which is difficult to read its flash score is like only 28.8 so this is not quite readable that's why it is having less flash score now these these are the benefits of our like automation code review so we are like we are we will be having 20 to 30 percent cleaner code 100 percent functional coverage we are uh, giving so you can see manual test cases suppose i am having this api right so in the automation we are covering this one right but in the second api this is this was there but this particular api is not being covered in the automation right so we will be pointing out this difference which is highlighted in uh, red color the other advantage is provides suit test readability score which i have shown you and the last one is making automation framework more uh, robot uh, robust and effective so this is all about the automation review process thank you the only thing i would like to add here is do you want this to yeah this 20 to 30 percent cleaner code is without much effort so you just only have to select that okay uh that tool will ask you shall i clean this code like uh, quick fix and custom fix and then you just have to say yes or no then it will be done so we are open for the questions now ishan do we have any so we have one question from the audience uh, pasted in the chat so the question is how we can use this tool okay so currently this tool is uh, internally developed for the ericsson project so it's not available in the mock market uh, this is the idea we are presenting that how we have implemented it but if you are interested like uh, if you have any other uh, like if you want to see that how it can work we can talk separately and uh, we can help you out you want to have a similar implementation great uh, audience if you have any other uh, questions with you which uh, you would like team ericsson to answer for you please feel free to post it in chat We'll just wait for a couple of minutes and then uh, maybe we can.